Take your hands to your heart. Inhale them up. Exhale them to your heart. Inhale them up. Exhale them to your heart. Cross your left leg over your right leg. We're going to twist. Inhale your arms up. And then we're going to turn to the right. Catching your legs on whatever part of the chair is handy. See, I'm in an armchair today, so it's a little different. I'm just grabbing whatever part of the chair I can and turning. And make your eyes go all the way to the right over your shoulder. Stretch your eye muscles. And then take your right arm back over the ceiling, down onto your left elbow like this. Elbows are on top of each other. Wrap your arms around each other. See how I'm doing eagle here? And if you feel like really doing eagle, to go for the extra wrap. And if you feel like really doing eagle, whoa, whoa, can I do it? Stand up and hover. Whoa, I kind of can't do it. There, this is eagle. But you can also do it sitting down. And let's inhale the arms straight up. And exhale the arms straight down. You could still be standing up. You could still be working your legs. Inhale them up. See if there's a back bend. And then exhale forward. Release your arms. And let's release the legs. And take them wide apart. Oh, I'm wearing a skirt. Take them wide apart. And come on down between them. Releasing your hips. Releasing your lower back. Put weight in your hands and come up. Inhale your arms up over your head. Exhale into your heart. Take your legs back together. And we're going to cross the right leg over the left one this time. Inhale your arms up. Exhale down and then twist. I like to bring my knees up close to the chair and then grab one part of the chair and grab the other part of the chair. It doesn't matter. Just pull yourself into this twist. And then make your eyes go all the way to the left over your left shoulder. And then let's inhale that back arm back. Turning back around, we're going to stack our elbows on top of each other again. Cross your arms. Inhale them straight up. Exhale straight down. Oh, I forgot the eagle part. So you can keep wrapping. Wrap as much as you can. And if you want to, you can, whoa. You can come up like this. Eagle pose is, um, it's like chair pose, but with the legs wrapped around each other. It's really um, intense on the adductors. Inhale them up. Seeing if there's no back bend. Release. Take your legs apart wide. And come on down into this forward bend again. Put weight in your hands and sit up. Take your feet hip distance apart. Take your hands on your knees. Feel the energy coming up the front part of your legs here, your shins. And feel this right, right angle right here. Coming into this right angle right here. Your hips are even on your chair. Your lower ribs go down and back. Your shoulders come up and back. Your chin comes out of your chest. Your head floats like a balloon. Yeah. And then take your left ear to your left shoulder. And exhale forward. Inhale right ear to right shoulder. Exhale forward. Keep going back and forth with your breath here, releasing your neck. You can go all the way around if you want to. You can go to the back if you want to, but I don't because I have a sensitive cervical spine. That's, the, that's what we call the vertebrae in the neck. I think it's safer just to go forward. But if you like going back, you can. And 
And the next time your head comes to center, lift it up. We're gonna go like this. Coming on to the onto your hands, leaning them on your chair, and you're walking your feet forward a little bit until you're kind of like in an upright tabletop on the chair. It's a shoulder stretch. We're working the legs a little bit, we're working the core a little bit. And then come up onto your toes and then back down. And onto your toes and back down. Onto your toes and back down. And then if it feels okay to you, you can walk your legs out straight here. And this is Parvatanasana. We did this yesterday. And you can drop your head back if that feels okay. And now we're really doing a huge stretch. We might be in a chair, but we're really stretching here. Good. Come on back. Sit back in your chair. Take your right ankle on your left knee. Settle in. Find your hips even. And then come down into that hip. This is our seated pigeon. I don't know if that's really what it's called. That's what I call it. This is one of my favorite chair poses. It's really simple. It's really good. And from there, come up and grab your knee like this. And if that feels okay, grab your toe. And if that feels okay, straighten your leg. And you know what? I should have... Keep forgetting to bring a strap. Here, oh, look. So, this is not a strap. This is my skirt. But you see, I put it around my, sh my foot like that. You see how that gets me into the pose? If you can't get there with your hand, it doesn't matter. Just put something around your foot, and all we're trying to feel here is release. Okay? Just come to that place where you can feel release. It should feel good. This and all yoga poses should feel good. And I'm interested to see, this being my first experiment with armchair yoga, what it's like to work the core when you're not on a hard surface. So let's see. Lift up your legs. Whoa! Feels crazy. I'm not sure if I recommend armchair yoga, by the way. But why not? Just come to a place where you feel your core working. Lift up your legs. Lift up your upper body. I can feel it. It's hard to stay balanced on a chair like this. And that, in turn, works, works the core pretty well. We're just breathing. And straighten your legs if you feel it. Whoo, come down. Cross your left ankle on your right knee. And let's come down over. Good, come up, and grab your knee, and maybe you're here. If you can feel your hips stretching here or your hamstring stretching here, then stay here. Or maybe you can straighten your leg like that, maybe that feels good. If that feels good, do it. Or maybe you're in between, and you need a strap of some kind. It doesn't matter what it is. Put it around your foot. This is also kind of nice because you see it's... um. I'm using my arms to hold my leg up. So that's kind of nice too. But mainly this is a hamstring stretch and a calf stretch.
ahead and release that. Now I'm feeling like I want to do that perfect tanasana again. So we're going to take our hands. I didn't describe it super well last time. Put your hands on the edge of your chair, armchair or whatever you got. And lift yourself up into a reverse tabletop, walking yourself forward until you really are feeling inside of those um, shoulders. And then come up onto your toes. And maybe let's just hold this for a little bit. This is a big shoulder stretch. And then if you want to walk your legs out, this is going to be intense on your legs as well as your arms. And your core. Work in the core too. Good. Come on back. And now I'm feeling like, because of, I, I've got a relatively wide chair here, I don't know about you guys, but I've got a little bit of room, so I'm going to get into some hip stuff. Uh, all right, let's take the left knee and point it forward. I'm going to show you two versions of this pose. Left knee goes forward, right knee stacks on top, I'm wedged in my chair in this fantastic pose called shoelace okay so be be here and you should feel your hips opening now really important thing about shoelace pose and about pigeon pose and fire log which I'm going to show you in a second any pose that asks you to bend your knees in like this be careful that you're not taking this bend into your knee make sure it's just coming into your hip Okay, that's gonna mean rearranging for some of you guys. If you've got tight hip flexors, because you're a runner or something like that, just don't, definitely don't take it into your knee or this knee. Don't let that happen because that is gonna cripple you. Seriously, don't hurt yourself. The only reason we have our legs in this kind of arrangement is to give us better access to this hip, that's all. So whatever yours need to look like, maybe it needs to look like this or something, just find some way to get into your hip, okay? Oh, so I said I was going to show two versions. This is, the, this is the easier one, and this is the only one that I can actually do. If you're very flexible, you might want to try the harder one, fire log, which is it's not exactly the same pose. It's, it's different. We're getting into a different part of the hip. This is fire log. It's where you've got your shins parallel and your shins are stacked on top of each other. See how I've got some room here? I can kind of do this almost. But I prefer shoelace. So pick the one that you like, and let's get into it. And just take note of it, because you see me doing this in an armchair. So <clears throat> it's not super comfortable, but it's OK. So because I could do it in an armchair, I could do it in an office, obviously. Or I could do it on an airplane. Imagine how good it would feel to be on a plane and be able to have some hip release really good. So this is a forward bend and we're going to come forward but only to the extent that it feels good. If you've got tight hips you're not going to need to go forward. Bolt upright will be fine for you in this pose. All right. So just find something to let go of. come up and now at this point gauge where you are with this pose if your legs are going to sleep if your knees are hurting if you just don't like it anymore then come out and put your legs on the ground but if you're okay then we're gonna take the second half of this pose grabbing our handy strap here grab something you can use as a strap come back into it or, or not maybe you've got your legs on the ground and we're gonna take our strap in our left hand and take it forward forward, up, and back. I'm turning a little bit so you can see this. Taking this arm, grabbing this elbow first, grab your uh, left elbow with your right hand, and wiggle into that shoulder. And then come around, grab your strap or grab your fingers, 
And what we basically have done is tied ourselves into a big knot here, double knot in our chair. And it should feel good. And if it doesn't feel good, rearrange your pose, get to a place where it feels good. release out of that. You guys were excited about this the first time, so we're going to do it again. Ready? Navasana boat. Weird Navasana boat in kind of a sinking armchair. All I'm trying to do is hold up all my limbs with my core strength. That's it. Nothing. Whoa. Nothing more complicated than that. And then cross your legs the other way. I think we had the left leg underneath last time, so let's put the left leg on top. We're in our chair. Maybe we're, we're at our desk or whatever. But if you find a way to be in this level of a hip release in your chair, then you really don't have too many more excuses to have tight hips. It's a good one. So we're just going to be here. I think I kept you here for a long time on the last side. So we're going to be here for a long time. Make sure you're comfortable. Make sure you're not feeling it in your knee. And you can notice that I'm not, I'm not fully in this pose. It's partly because of my chair and it's partly because of my hip flexors. I have tight hip flexors. It's okay. If I was really doing it, if I was really in here, then my, my knees would be stacked exactly on top of each other, and they're not. But what I am doing is finding the place where I feel this pose, in my left hip, and to some degree in my right hip, taking it to the edge and then just releasing. And if you're doing that, it really doesn't matter what your pose looks like. If you're doing that, that's yoga. Good. Now, if you want the other part, the arms. By the way, this shoelace plus the arms together makes cow face, obviously. A shoelace plus weird arms would make a cow's face. Take your strap forward in your right hand. And up and back. Grab your right elbow with your left hand and wiggle into your right shoulder. And if you want to, you can lean your head back. And then we're going to take this left hand around and back, grabbing the strap or our fingers. And then lean down into it. Try a wild experiment here. Let's see what happens if we have our feet like this. And we try to straighten them. Yeah, I thought that might work. Try that. Maybe. Good. And then if you are able in your chair, Bring your feet together. A lot of this will have to do with the kind of chair you're in. Can you, do you have arms on your chair? I have arms, but they're pretty accommodating. Some of the chairs I've been in over the past couple of days, I wouldn't have been able to do this. Anything that I try and put you in that you can't get into because of the logistics of your chair, just um, put your legs on the ground or, I don't know, find some other version. In fact, let's both, let's all put our legs on the ground and take your legs apart. Sort of like three feet. Then take your right elbow down onto your right knee. 
Then your left arm goes up. Here's our side stretch. And if you want to get really deep here, I did this a couple days ago, you can come down and bring your back towards that thigh, binding in the back. That's pretty deep. I think most of us, including me, are going to be here. Good. Now take your hands to the ground and walk to the other side and take your left elbow to your left knee and your right arm goes up. Thinking about your shoulders, get them in alignment. You can kind of tell when they're not. Good, and come up and grab your hands behind you and roll your shoulder blades down the back. And this time, we're going to twist a little bit as we come down. We're going to come down towards the right leg, twisting our body towards the right leg. Pressing the feet into the ground. And then come towards center, and then just turn your twist toward the left leg. You can feel the legs working a little bit here. And then come on up. And then let's make that a twist. This time we're going to take the elbow to the outside of that knee. Right arm goes to the waist. And twist. And take your hands to your heart and inhale your arms up and exhale your hands to your heart. Let's do this other thing. Left elbow, hand to the waist, look up over your shoulder. Come up, take your feet parallel, hands to your heart, inhale them up. Exhale to your heart. Inhale them up. Exhale to your heart. Let me check out my time. Oh. Inhale your arms up. Exhale to your heart. That's our practice. Namaste.